One of my favorite things to do is cook in the kitchen with my daughter, Olive, who's four. She's been on the show numerous times. But someone who knows what it's like to cook with kids is Chef May Earl. She's joining us today. Now, May, I'm actually cooking um, in the kitchen. I have... I, I cheated, but I have a ready-made pizza crust because Olive's at that stage where she doesn't love a lot of different foods right now. Yes. Trying to work in like the vegetables and things. And then I have just some squeezable pizza sauce to put on. Yeah. I throw on some cheese and that is absolutely it. But can you tell me what's the best way to try to sneak in some of those good vegetables and things? Sometimes it's it's easier just to hide them a little. So today, and hey, I might be a chef, but I still have the problems that you're looking and that you're worried about. My uh, youngest, she's very picky and limited on what she likes. So right now I'm doing empanadas and I always love hiding that because they're not seeing it in there. So my oldest, she hates onions. So I used to puree onions to put them in my chicken soup. <laughs> She wouldn't try to, you know, take them out. This way, I can put peppers. I could do, um, like, traditional empanadas have potatoes in them. But because it's in a pocket, they might not see it. So you can hide it a little. And this is great for kids, too, because it gets them hands-on. If they're in the kitchen working with the product or the vegetable or the produce, they'll have a higher chance of wanting to eat it. We have a lot of kids that in our cooking classes, when we used to do them at the farmer's market with Let Us Learn, um, they'd be like, oh, I don't like zucchini. And I, and I would say, well, we're making zucchini noodles. And then all of a sudden, our products is done and they're asking for seconds. Now, go back to Let Us Learn for a minute because that's a familiar name. Some Great Day Live viewers may remember. I mean, you've been on the show numerous yeah. times. But remind us what, I love it. It's a play on lettuce. I love that. But yeah. remind us what Let Us Learn is and who's involved in it. Well, it, Let Us Learn is a nonprofit out of Floyd County. And they um, work with uh, Floyd County Schools. So they have two growing gardens, children gardens. Um, at Fairmont and SL and Jones. Right now, they have a growing gardens club, and each growing gardener got their own raised bed with uh, numerous vegetables. They have uh, zucchini and squash, they have tomatillos, they have um, marigolds to help with pests, they have uh, tomatoes. So they have a lot of herbs and such, and they're growing their own vegetables. And then I, I'll see a few of them in our uh, Floyd County cooking classes that I'm hosting right now with Let Us Learn. And so it's a lot of fun. They're learning how to uh, grow and cook their own vegetables. Love that. Now, earlier today, then this morning, you hosted um, a cooking class, a virtual one for the Floyd County Library, and you made these empanadas. So let's start with the dough. Yep. All I'm using is the um, store-bought pre-made pie dough. So it comes in those plastic containers, comes two to a pack. I'm using a mason jar cutter. It could be a cookie cutter, but all I'm doing is a flouring it a little bit. I'm cutting, I get like seven out of one sheet of dough and I'm making little round pie dough circles. And all I'm doing is pinching them around to make them a little bigger so they can hold our nice stuffing. I'll, I use ground beef. Now, if you have chicken in the fridge or pork in the fridge, this is great for leftovers. And I like this meal because your kids can be in the kitchen helping you prepare it. So I'm taking my filling, my cheese and my beef, and I'm putting it in the center, I'm pinching it off to make a little pillow. Like half moon, and then take my fork, pinch off the edges, make a steam hole. So now we have a nice little empanada. Put it right here. I got others. 
I've already made up. So we'll do one more. So I take my dough, I take a pinch, which is be what two fingers in your thumb. One scoop of meat. I'm just using a teaspoon, the smaller spoon in your utensil drawer. Pinching it off again. Taking my fork. Gonna seal the ends so the cheese and beef doesn't seep out. Put a steam hole at the top again. And then they're ready to go in the oven. We'll just have to brush them over with a little egg wash to help with the coloring. And May, when you say egg wash, what's in there? All it is is one egg and I take a fork, I agitate the yolk and the egg, wa egg white. I add just a little few drops of water. Whisk it up again, and that's your egg wash. You can use a little um, milk as well if you have that, but water, it's right there. Nice and simple. And you put in the meat and the cheese, but really, you could put anything in. I mean, I've even no. had sweet empanadas that are delicious. Yeah. Exactly. Um, we, you can do sweet empanadas. You could do breakfast empanadas. I've done that at Silver Creek with one of my classes, um, which they loved. It's really nice for um, leftovers. Say you had tacos one night or you have ground beef you've already made up or pork. Throw these together with some pie shells, easy dinner. You can also freeze it, which is nice as working parents like you and I are. <laughs> Meals at night can be hard. So this is a quick and easy meal. I'm gonna throw it in my oven at 350 for 15 minutes until it gets nice and brown up top. Like you said, nice and easy and super quick. And then, of course, the magic of TV. You yeah, already have some beautiful ones. Another 15 minutes. And then I just have a little um, avocado, some avocado and uh, ranch that I mixed up, and a little salsa. Well, yeah. maybe we appreciate it. Those empanadas, I'm putting the ingredients on my next shopping list. I appreciate it. Sure <laughs> Thanks so much. You can connect with Let Us Learn by liking Let Us Learn KY on Facebook. And then keep up with Chef May Earl by following the Kitchen Groupie on Facebook and Instagram. And we'll be sure to have her on again.